Welcome to JobSkillshare.com. Today I'm making a short video about my tool section under Help Desk Support Specialist course. And this is going to be under Forms. And when you click on Scripts right here, these are basically external resources that uh, scripts are for IT professionals. I mean, there's there are many scripts outside on Google, but these are specifically for IT people, like, you know, little things that, either bigger things, not little things, customized things, I would say. For example, copying your, uh, uh, migrating your data from one computer to another, so it makes your life easier if you have a little script that can do it for you, you know, like copying all the favorites, documents, app, app data, Outlook file, signature file, and all these little, little files that you, if you're working on multiple computers at the same time, it can get a little annoying. So that's why people have scripts. And, and if uh, I highly recommend you to test it before you do anything with scripts. Because some scripts can delete things. Some script, scripts can be really powerful. They can change a lot of stuff. So you don't want to just run it. You definitely want to read about it. You want to test it on a different computer. And then you use it. Uh, never use a script without even opening it and uh, looking at it because that could really damage the computer so definitely something to test it out before you do anything so I have two links here I didn't want to put too too many in there but these two are the best for me it will always works if I if I find if I want to look something customized I'm gonna go to this place um, either I'm gonna use what other people have already done so credit goes to them uh, if not, then I'll just grab one and then kind of um, adjust it to my needs. But how does it work? It's basically you have two links here, like I said. So if you click on the Spiceworks Script Center, it's th this is a s this is, these are the links from Spiceworks. So you can click on any of it, and it will take you to that link right now. So this is the Script Center for for Spiceworks. So if you click on Script Center here, depending on what you're doing, if you're working on Active Directory, you can click here. You can uh, if you like I said, if you are doing something different just look for what you what you really need so uh, just for testing I mean you can just go here to the most downloaded ones and then you will find what other people have used and how much the ratings are you can see this script remote uninstalled software if you uninstall the script and run it correctly then it's going to uninstall you don't you won't need any other software to do that for you so you can see the power of script you don't need a software to do the whole installation everything all you can do is run this script make sure you get everything right and then run it and it will do the, the job for you so if you click on it the script looks like this over here in Spiceworks it definitely have a description never install a script without description uh, because or if you know how to read this stuff then yeah you can go ahead but I'm pretty sure most of us wouldn't know this I mean you would know a little bit but if you don't know scripting you wouldn't know too many of it so definitely read the description and comments on the bottom because then you can really think you can really know that it is a really a good script or does it like you know it does it do any damage so you will find out before when you try it and the screenshot looks like this if you install the script correctly it's gonna look like this and then you can do the on a remote computer you can type the name it will show all the, s the softwares and do silent and it will uninstall that software on a remote machine so that's the, the best part of scripts right there um, you do need to know the scripts um, extensions like for example if, uh, if it's a VB script then you need to write a VBS dot like save it as dot VBS if it's like a batch file then you need to do a BAT if it's a PowerShell then you need to PS1 so you need to know the, the extensions on these things and most of this um, most of the people who put scripts in there they'll already uh, put in a description so for example if you want to do a hardware inventory uh, on this one like say for example a machine so you, you will click on that and then what you need to do is basically it says a HTA script to show a fully customized hardware inventory on either a remote or local machine this script was written by Rob Van and it gives the credit to the person and then say you must save the script as dot HTA extension or else it will not work so just to show you guys um, let me show you guys. so if you you go to the um, You'll, you'll need to go to the notepad to do any scripting like that. So if you're new to script, this this might be a step that you will get confused. But if you already know, then you know this step. So what you do is basically you open a notepad, you go to get the code, and it's basically the same code over there. And then what you do is copy everything, or you can download it. So when you do copy, you just paste it in the, the notepad, and then save as and here's uh, the extension part you have to click on all file and then 
say test me dot hta so if it was a vbs other script that it uh, the, like like in description if it says it did save it as vbs then you would do vbs if it says powershell then you you would use ps1 if it's batch then you would use bat so i'm going to i'm going to save this script in a on a desktop here and then i'm going to save it here and go back here and i'm, I'm going to click on test me and this is what happened see it just opened up so right now um I'm gonna see if it really works on this machine it might work it might not work but we just have to kinda th this is the this is something that you might wanna like do it so look at this it it did went through and kinda gave me all the information so all that information I mean I might, I might not I might not have done it the right way because I'm doing it really quickly right now but it's kinda gave me all the information so uh, this is a power of scripts like you know you can do many many things with scripts um, and then you can go back in here and then find like for example I say it's going to be depending on what you really need from these scripts so I'm gonna go back and uh, go back to my tool section again and then talk about the second one these were all spice works so definitely you will find a lot of things in there but if you want to check something from Microsoft they have a very good site on that script and a very powerful site so if you click on this scripts resources for IT professional from Microsoft and in, let's say you one click on any link here it will take you to that link and you can see right here now Active Directory they have almost a thousand scripts and then computer domain accounts all that hardware group policy group desktop management so if you click on desktop management let's say for example this is the one and then you read about the script here it's a PowerShell script let's say or you want client system administration administration tool if you click on that it will take you over there and then you see it's it tells you the description about the script the good thing about Microsoft one is that if you download it it will download it at, with the extension so you don't need to kind of know the extensions like in Spikesworks so if you let's say for example you want to do this one delete temporary files it will tell you what it will do this script will delete all the user and system temporary files blah 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 and then you can delete you see de delete temp files dot vbs so if you download that right now it's gonna give you agreement say I agree and watch it's basically downloading it with the script extension so you don't need to do that all you need to do is to execute it or run it the way it wants you to do definitely need to know the description I'm saying this again and again because you don't want to run a script without knowing the description because it can definitely cause a lot of stuff and always go down and wherever it has the reviews check for what people are saying because it can really cause some problems so this was about scripting hope you guys learned something from it um, go ahead download play around with the scripts and maybe you're working somewhere and you're like in a need of something that needs a customized attention so this is what you need to do uh, with scripts very powerful if you know how to create scripts it's it's pretty good for your skills actually you can when you go to your work it can make your life way a lot easier so all right guys thank you for watching this video and see you guys in a different one